Hey, Mark here, and I wanted to share some thoughts on how to get started in a career in cybersecurity as part of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. If you're not aware, ironically, October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. You can follow the hashtag NCASM uh, on Twitter or your so, uh, favorite social media network, and you'll see a ton of great content shared from the information security community. People are sharing how-tos, they're sharing their stories, they're highlighting some of the challenges that we as a security community are trying to tackle. Um, really, tons of great stuff out there, whether it's blogs, whether it's video, whether it's chat. Um, check it out, uh, tons to learn. Um, the genesis for this video, however, was uh, based on a post that I wrote for Tech Beacon and the Trend Micro blog. It should be up shortly if it's not out already. Um, and it's on the four reasons why you should be choosing a career in cybersecurity. Now, the obvious uh, reason that is not included in those four is that uh, there's a massive gap of skilled professionals and uh, available jobs. There's just so many available jobs and not enough people to fill them. Um, so we obviously need more people in there. Um, so there's a great literal opportunity. Um, but I think what the post really highlights and what's important to remember is that it's about more than that, um, right? It's always nice to be gainfully employed and we're always uh, lucky and, and count our, our blessings for that one. Um, but realistically, uh, this is a career path that gives you lots of opportunity for growth, personal growth, career growth. Um, there's a ton of different roles. Cybersecurity is not just one thing. Um, and there's a lot of great puzzles to solve. If you like cracking uh, a puzzle, solving uh, unique problems, cybersecurity is a great place to be. And of course, we have a real world impact to our work. And um, when it's done well, uh, nobody ever hears about it, which is a wonderful thing for a security professional. And um, when it's done poorly, unfortunately, we all hear about it. Everybody knows what happened with Equifax this summer. Um, but you know, you need to keep in mind that for every Equifax, there are millions and millions and millions of transactions that are conducted safely and securely online. And whether that's you interacting with your bank or ordering something from your favorite store or just safely chatting with your friends, there's a lot of great positive work uh, that cybersecurity professionals do. And we are making progress as, as a technology discipline. But getting started can be really hard. And this is where things may get a little controversial. Um, because I think a lot of uh, people in the community, in the cybersecurity community and IT in general, go, this is what a cybersecurity professional role is. We have certain steps to get there and people should march those steps to get to this point and we will have more cybersecurity professionals. Two problems with that. Um, it's just not true um, and it doesn't scale. So the scaling thing we can tackle, you know, you can only put so many people through uh, certain courses. Um, but the reality is, is that's not what a cybersecurity professional is. For every person you meet within the security community, they've got a different story, they've got a different background, they've got a different um, educational history. Um, it's a diverse, diverse community and that's an amazing and wonderful thing. Because the core of being a cybersecurity professional is sort of the right mindset, it's the right thinking, it's the ability to look at something and step back and analyze the problem from a different perspective or from all perspectives. Um, it's a really unique uh, discipline and I think it's wonderful, I personally find it really, really engaging. So. How do you get there? Um, well, how you get there is really uh, about driving and uh, uh, your thirst for knowledge. It's about learning more, um, and that can be challenging for some people. So there are formal courses available. Uh, SANS, um, which is a training institute that uh, does a lot of great formal courses. Um, the EC Council does uh, formal courses. The ISC Squared does formal courses. Um, there are universities and colleges all around the world that are adding in cybersecurity dedicated or cybersecurity heavy curriculum right now. Those are wonderful opportunities if that's your preferred style of learning. There's also a very vibrant community of people who are publishing um, regularly online. Uh, the aforementioned SANS has a wonderful um, subsite called The Reading Room where they uh, have all their students publish these uh, basically graduate level papers on deep diving on specific topics. Fantastic resource. There's a ton of great sites like Dark Reading that publish articles regularly that help you learn and self-educate. Um, we have a vibrant uh, e event community and event calendar within cybersecurity and a lot of those events publish their videos of talks online so you can just sit there for hours and learn and learn and learn and learn. I think my point here is that no matter what your style is, um, you can absolutely find a resource that meets that that will help you um, understand cybersecurity at its, at its core. And I'll start you on the path hopefully with a positive foot right now. What you kind of understand about cybersecurity, what you understand about cybersecurity is probably not accurate. Um, and I don't say that in a mean way, but unfortunately the reputation of cybersecurity has got to be like, stop the hackers. That's what cybersecurity does. It stops hackers, it prevents data breaches. That's absolutely part of what cybersecurity professionals and cybersecurity as a profession is trying to do. But realistically, our goal as security professionals is to make sure that whatever we in IT and in technology build does what it's supposed to do 
and only what it's supposed to do. You see, that's a little bit different than what most people consider success. If we as technologists are building something, it should do that thing, right? That makes sense. But only that thing. And that's really where security comes into the perspective. Because as a security pro, I'll look at anything around me and think of, hey, what else can I do with that? If I put on my evil guy hat, what kind of mischief can I get up to? So when you're building stuff, it's far easier to design it to only do what you're supposed to do and make sure it won't do anything else than after the fact. And unfortunately, the predominant approach to security right now is trying to do it after the fact. So that's going to get you started on the right foot. Remember that security's job is to make sure that whatever we're building is built strong, it's stable, it's resilient, and it does only what it is supposed to do. Now, the second thing I'm going to tell you is that don't be afraid to reach out. You can reach out to me personally. Uh, I'm Mark NCA on pretty much every social network. Um, you can leave a comment below here. Um, you can reach out by email. Um, whatever you want, I'll happy to take a few minutes to try to make sure you're down on the path. Uh, on the right path to get uh, learning and to become a cybersecurity professional. Most members of the community I've found are the exact same way. They're happy to help people out. Just explain honestly and earnestly where you're coming from and what you're looking to achieve. You know, hey, I'm looking to learn more about securing applications that I build or about, you know, I build IoT devices and I want to make sure that I'm doing it right, not putting people at risk. So reach out, take advantage of the community. I'm going to pile as many links and references as I can down into the description to help you get uh, started. But I think those are the two biggest tips I can give you is remember security's job is to make sure the technology we build does its job and only that and reach out to the community. We're here to help. We are in fact a community and that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So what are you waiting for? Stop watching this video. Start learning. Well, hopefully you've learned in this video too, but you know what I meant.